Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to today's Waifu Wars number five. Um, welcome everybody, welcome. Uh, welcome Dio, welcome T-Rex, hi guys, welcome to, it's Ya Boy, yes, yes. Welcome to our bi-weekly Skullgirls tournament, uh, second encore to be very specific. Hello Roy, welcome, welcome. Uh, Waifu Wars number 5 is on your way. We are 3 minutes away from me finalizing our check-ins. Uh, but everybody's checked in actually, so we can actually begin right now. Before we begin, um, I would like to introduce my co-host this afternoon. Uh, Paul, go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks watching right now. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Uh, glad to be back. Uh, sad I missed the uh, last one two weeks ago, but uh, hey, we're here now and uh, I'm excited to get started. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. So with that being said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have 12 amazing participants this afternoon. We'll run through uh, the bracket. Um, people can fight amongst themselves in the background. That would be rounds one and two. Uh, but we will call upon some select matches to be showcased here on screen to begin with. Once you're in top eight, stop playing, please. Once again, once you're in top eight, stop playing. Unless we call you before round three, which is top eight, um, hop on to the main screen. Uh, with that being said, Paul, um, it would it would be good if you had your fight in screen as well, because uh, that would automatically give us a first match. Um, but with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely uh, Sunday evening here uh, on Waifu Wars number five. Uh, we got, we have a lot of good games. We're gonna showcase today a lot of uh, amazing talent that are once again available here on Waifu Wars number five. We have Ruby Chan returning as well. Uh, Dio is saying he had a fun time at the camp out. Wonderful. I'm very glad to hear that. Um, one minute away from the battles to this evening. Uh, Paul. Yes, Lemon? Uh, any expectations in this coming tournament? Um, uh, kind of looking at the the setup right now. Uh, our biggest shark definitely tonight is going to be Ruby. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't really see, uh, you know, some someone like Zest Municipality, uh, that solo peacock player we had a while back. Uh, we don't really see kind of a big roadblock like that in this bracket. I. I don't want to call it right now, but this may be Ruby's tournament, but, you know, he still has to go through, you know, Musenheim. He still has to go through Derb, who has uh, quite the Geese solo is here uh, as well. Robo fortune. Uh, sorry, what? Geese is here as well. Yes, I was also going to mention that third. And then we have the other Bayo band, Bella. Uh, Geese as well, kind of in bracket, too. So it's by no means going to be free. I wasn't trying to imply that, but at least by my hand, I have witnessed the... The coming apocalypse of the the ruby uh, the ruby mix up. So, yes, that is true. Uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite the wild ride if we see uh, uh, I mean uh, an upset almost I want to call it whoever ends up bringing him down and kicking him out. 
works out. Uh, but right now, we'll have our first match, which is actually uh, uh, quite uh, uh, fortuitous because Shiyari, our newcomer, and Harbinger will be our first match, and whoever wins that will be fighting you, Paul. So everybody else in bracket, go ahead and have your matches. Yeah, so everybody, go ahead and have your matches. But we're calling right now Harbinger, Shiari, and of course, Paul, my good friend Paul, here onto the main stage. Just waiting for them to hop on in here right now. Ah, there he yes, is. Our, our good friend Geese is here him. as well. A very, very strong uh, participant. Yeah, we have Paul here. Um, so, Paul, whoever wins this one will be fighting you in round number two. Because you're Exciting. a bit high seated, I believe, uh, automatically seated. Everybody of the high tiers are automatically seated from last one. Um, but I guess if you miss a tournament, you don't get seated automatically. Because um, we have Geese, Nebu, Moose, and Ruby in the lower role in rounds number one. Uh, but we'll see. We're just waiting for Shiyari to hop on in right now. Let's mess so while we're waiting for, for Shiari to get in here, uh, I'm actually having a hard time. I, I remember Harbinger for sure, I just don't remember what team they end up playing. And the Shiari is definitely new for me. Uh, I don't believe they have been any previous white No, she, uh, Shiari is a new uh, friend of ours uh, participating here on Waifu Wars. Oh, nice. Good to see a little bit of new blood added into the mix. Mm -hmm. And that's what we like to see, right? Uh, we want uh, fresher blood, newer uh, participants. Oh, fun fact! Our I don't want to say friend, but um, <laughs> uh, Kai Kennedy uh, retweeted our event. It was kind of nice of him. The voice of Beowulf himself. Really? Yes, he That's did. That's actually kind of hype. It is kind of hype. Uh, but right now we are waiting for Shiari. Um, Shiari, if uh, you are not here, we might have to DQ you for the first round and we'll have Harbinger win it automatically and Paul will have to fight. Everybody else is fighting already so we can't really buy you time, Shiari. Once once again, last call. Uh, I'm a, they, they, they checked in. Does it, it tell in. you at all when at, at like at what time? No, they it ended doesn't up give me. In? It doesn't give me a um, a time frame when they checked in. But they did indeed check in. Mm -hmm. So that was very odd that they are not. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, we have Shiari here. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sh Harbinger and Shiari on the first fight here. Uh, for why? Oops, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. Hold on. Alright, players are picking their teams here, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this first to three. There we go. Match number one between Shiyari and Harbinger. Ooh, we got a... Oh, we got a, a squiggly player. You'll love to see it. Ooh, gets, uh, gets the pickup on the, the DP assist, but doesn't convert. Air grabs to, to pick it up on an unfortunate drop. Immediately gets picked back up by Shiyari here. Oh, these are some, these are some very awkward exchanges here. Both players just kind of throwing their heart on their sleeve right at each other. Oh, very good pullover. Oh, that was a great dive kick, but doesn't get the conversion off of it. I wonder what assist Shiari is uh, running. I don't believe they have called it yet. I mean, uh, they apparently don't need it. They're 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 making more out of these engagements than uh, than Harbinger at the current moment. All right, we got just kind of the hard tag at neutral. Oh, and the happy birthday pickup. Can we keep this going? Ah, big Ooh. man. Unfortunately, way big and Punish that the opposite. BP. We have Robo Fortune doing big work right now on Harbinger's Big Bear. Oh, 
Got the, uh, got the armor normal there, but uh, not facing the right way. Ooh, that was a that was a very nasty uh, cross up right there. A very uh, big band specific thing. A character very tall, very susceptible to those crossovers. Alright, finish the food. Aw. Throw out the projectile. Keeping it clean. And now a word from our sponsors. Alright, uh game number one goes to Shiyari. Very strong showing on that Robo Fortune. Let's see if Harbinger will adjust here. Yeah, a bit of uh, a bit shaky, I would say, on both players' sides. Uh, some stuff kind of dropping. I'm hoping to see a bit more confirms on mm -hmm. on this next round. On for for both, that is. It's honestly anyone's game. It really just comes down to can you finish that food? Can you get to that mix-up area of your combo? <laughs> Oh, we have a we have a team change here. We're instead going with the the Philly band. Yes, Harbinger swapped out of the uh, Squidly. Oh, it doesn't get the pickup. That is a hard pickup to do. Philly, uh, you know, uh, con uh, contrary to popular belief, usually the head of a fighting game tends to be the all rounder. Uh, tends to be the easier one to pick up. Philia is very opposite. Her buttons are very fast, and her confirms are very tight. But... Yeah, that is true. Uh, it seems to me Valentine is actually holding that niche, if anything. It would, uh, yeah, it's either Valentine, Double, or Fortune. Those are yeah, like they, the. They do hold more of that uh, frontliner niche, so to speak, with the DPs, with the Hados, uh, with the, the picks. There, that's simple Kyaku's. But, I mean, that's just the beauty of this uh, lineup. It's definitely some simpler ones, but they all have their very special ways of playing. It can get pretty advanced, uh, the deeper you delve into a character in this game. Uh, definitely don't have your Ryu or your Ken sort of, sort of lineup here. That's true. Well, I guess in, um, in Annie, they, they find what is what would be the closest one to be a Shoto would be Annie. Oh. Sans the um, without the Katsumaki Sampo Kyaku. But Annie would be the closest one, I would say. Annie's probably the closest one. Though she's more re re uh, she more reminds me of like a character from Dragon Ball Fighters a little bit. With how many like you know, she's got the Rekka series, she's got the fireballs, different versions, different That is true. So. Ooh, oh, big super coming out! Open the way game. Oh, and that is kill. Ooh, Shiari is flowing through the competition here. Oh, you love to see it. You first, love to first see game, it. Uh, first set of the day, and you get to witness the way gate opening. But we're now up to and oh, Harbinger versus Shiari. Uh, next match. This is Shiari's uh, uh, match point or. Yeah, set point basically. Uh, let's see if a Harbinger can follow up and create an advantage for themselves. Harbinger mentioning that they may have uh, ended up blocking that level five, but uh, that that thing even does a ton of chip damage. I, I think true. even with the block, with how low they were, it, it was it was all but GG. It was checkmate there. Shall we dance, my lady? Let's. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see what the openers. All right, here. back to Harbinger Squiggly back. opening here for uh, Shiari. Uh, Harbinger back on Philia. Gotta swap out these names real quick. Here we go. Oh yeah, they uh, they switch sides there. <laughs> but must be hell for the production crew, I would say. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting back into it. Uh, Harbinger able to set up their offense. Uh, actually, switching the assist to the air grab is fun. Big Bang kind of wants to play more of a set play sort of style than uh, a neutral win style here. Interested to see how it works out. Oh, we're gonna raw tag. Oh, probably an accidental raw tag. Oh, nice by, uh, out there. Yeah, I, I, I like the trapping of the red helmet there. <laughs> Alright, we're kind of looking for an opening here. Can we finish this? Goes for a baby reset on oh, Fortune. Bro, super's coming out. Oh, I think that was a follow up, but dropped it. Oh, smacked it out of the super. Oh. That dive was so close to clipping. 
Start his kill. I've been to the left of this band here. Alright, good catch on the, with the TP. We're kind of going full screen. We're probably gonna zone out a bit with the... Oh, barely misses the overhead there. Kinda airballs the super a little bit there. Maybe a bit impatient. Oh, Catastrophe Clan coming out. Big damage. Alright, we kind of re got the opening here in the end. This is kind of building up a little bit too much here. Yeah, we're going to see a burst right here. Hey, here. Grabs coming right, out. Good. Ooh, ooh, there's more connection. Ah, uh, the, the, this should be... This should be it. Oh, they dropped the it. They dropped Never it. mind, I... Opportunity. I oh, yeah, so but that was blocked there. and answered back. Shiari with a very clean 3 and 0. Oh. Right, right, uh, by the way, Dio is asking us to hydrate, so everybody who has a drink on hand, please hydrate. Congratulations, Shiari. Shiari, don't leave the stage just yet. Don't stay. Oh, okay. Well, there. <laughs> uh, okay. It's alright, we'll, 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 we'll tag them back in. Here, I uh, who is. Uh, I, we have a ping here regarding uh, participation. Uh. Oh, we have a fall. Oh, what? We, uh, mm, our good brother, uh, the, the Koshua, not just any Koshua, the Koshua, a very, very good friend of ours, has resub for a six month. Thanks so much, Kosh. I love you, brother. Nice. Um, we have been advised to change our tag to uh, Skullgirls, regular Skullgirls, as opposed to um, Skullgirls second encore. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Thank you for the tip. Um, by the way, uh, Moose, who is your opponent? Because if it's 10 minutes, then we will have to drop them down to the uh, loser's bracket. And then if they don't respond then... Uh... Oh, this is Nebu. Where is Nebu? Nebu, you have... Nebu, you gotta... You gotta, you gotta... <laughs> I'm sorry, Nebu. Where have you been? Where are you going? Yes, keep keep playing. Uh, I can see some activity here on chat right now. Uh, keep playing until uh, round three. Once you're at round three, stop. So keep on playing, please. Also, where is Nebu? I was in conversation with Nebu earlier. I even checked Nebu myself. Okay, one last right, final uh, call for Nebu. If Nebu does not respond, uh, Moose will automatically get that win. Uh, and Nebu will have to fight their way through uh, the lower bracket. Um, Nebu did respond. They're actually they're organizing it together right now. Oh, where did Nebu respond? Right up here at 312. NGH Nebu here. Oh, okay, okay. So they are yeah, fighting. They're... But then, we... but right now we have Shiari versus Paul, our good friend Paul. Oh, no, oh Shiari, where'd you leave? No. Shiari, Shiari left. No. Trying to get you back in here, Shiari. You're Shiari. my opponent. Since Shiari is our newest, uh, I would say, member of our little group, of our community, uh, we will showcase as many Shiari fights as possible. <laughs> not because it's convenient and Paul is here already. Not, not, not because Yeah, totally, of that. Totally, totally not, not biased, that. convenience, It's because like we want to celebrate <laughs> we, we just treat all of our new players with such care and compassion. That... Well, once again, uh, my good friend Koshua, thank you so much for the resub six months. Has it already been six months? Holy shit. Oh, Kosh, look at your new badge. Uh, Kosh has finally... Kosh's badge has evolved from the Caterpillar into a full-fledged common Rider. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> so while we're kind of waiting for Shiari to get back here, uh, I don't know if Shiari may or may end up uh, uh, looking at the VOD later on mm -hmm. uh, through the week. But kind of a couple pieces word of advice that I noticed. Um, obviously, you know, you want to you want to tie up those confirms, tie up the, those finishing foods. And I say this, and I also drop stuff at the end of combos too. This game is by no means easy, but you know, it should always be like you know, reminder, reminder, reminder. Uh, kind of hit the, that training uh, uh, and uh, you know, make sure those confirms are solid. Uh, but the only other thing is. Uh, uh, you know, especially since you're running Robo and such, uh, really kind of focus on building up some more mix-ups in those strings. You don't want to go the full...
combo duration when they're that full of health, because a Robo is notorious for not doing that much damage. Her damage really comes from her zoning and her supers. So, because uh, she has a lot of really, really low damage multi-hitting moves, and that just that just stacks up the, the damage fall off way too hard. Mm -hmm. So, just a couple pieces of bit of advice. You don't want to go for the full combo every time. Uh, but right now, we are waiting for Shiari. Uh... I see them typing in our Discord at this yeah. time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, keep on having your fights. We will focus on showcasing top 8 because uh, we've been dabbling with uh, tournament times um, the past couple of days. And it's it, it seems to me that the top 8 focus is really the way to go. Everybody's not tired, everybody's still hyped, and we're not like stuck in here for like 5-4 hours on end. Ideal tournament time for me would be roughly a little under 4 hours, maybe 3 hours, 40 minutes, tops. Uh, that would be beautiful, everybody's energized, everybody's hyped, everybody had a good fun time. Because I feel like the energy starts dwindling down past the 4 hour mark, and we don't want to hit that. We want just to have good clean fights, enjoyable fights. Uh, people leaving here with uh, a good experience, you know what I'm saying? But right now, we have Shiari versus Paul here. Uh, Paul and Shiari, whenever you guys are ready, please go on ahead and have your battle. Ladies and gentlemen, right, this is match number two. Uh, hello, hello, Taco. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Our good friend Shady Taco, welcome, welcome. We are now in match number two between Shiyari versus Paul. Time for your physical. Time to put on a show. Action! All right, we are opening up with Paul here with Valentine and Shiyari with the test. Try to test it squiggly. Nice opening up with the Valentine, trying to approach, playing footsies right now. Clown activities detected on the stage. Alright, strong offense coming in from Valentine here. Corner pressure out of it though. Resetting themselves. Andy coming out with that assist. No full confirms yet here. So oh, here we go. As I said, that quickly gets a full one. We have supers coming out. Swap out into the robo portion. Ooh, Sarah Bella doing work on Paul's side here. We have Clown up to the ladies and gentlemen. Every time you see Sarah Bella on stage, feel free to type in exclamation point clown activities. Oh, what happened? <laughs> it didn't work. Unfortunate. It didn't work. My emotes didn't work. What happened? Anyway, maybe, and that is Paul taking out Robo Fortune. Big grabs coming out. Shiari's in trouble. Big damage coming out from Cerebella. Oh, we have a oh big lag spike here. Oh, here we go. Ooh, we got kicked out. That's unfortunate. What had what happened there? What the heck just happened? <laughs> what the heck just happened there? Why did we get kicked out? I don't know. I mean, that combo... I got the level 3 super. And yeah, that, that was that a... That 100% kills that. Was a, that mean, was a we, kill. I can talk with Shari, but... No, that was I, a kill. That was a kill. Uh, so okay. we'll award Paul that one win there. Um... That was unfortunate. That was a Monka moment. 
my heart kind of dropped. I'm like, what happened? Did I break the game? All right. Uh, Shiar, do you have anything on Shiari's end here? They're saying it might be the lobby. It might be the lobby. Well, what's going on? Se el lobby que paso. So they're asking to remake lobby? Do you want to remake the lobby, Shiari? We can remake the lobby, that's not a problem. We'll remake the lobby, here we are. Here we go, I'm gonna post it again. Here we go, that's the lobby right now. Kindly join us, please. Shiari and Paul. Alright, we are now in match number two between Shiari and Paul. Alright, here we go. Once again, opening up with Valentine and Squiggly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! <laughs> Uh, we're playing footsies right now. No real connects just yet. Push outs though. Uh, here we go. Here's our first real connect here. Shiyari doing work on Valentine. Uh, got out of that pressure. Now uh, Valentine is on offense. Oh, Valent- Oh, strong offense coming out. Cerebella's on deck right now. Big grabs coming out of the air. Shiyari is taking some damage. Oh, nice bounce back to reset. Now that's a reset. Big damage coming out. And that is Shiyari's Mo Robo Fortune gone and done. Enter Shiyari Squiggly. Cerebella doing hard work here. Major surgery coming out from Valentine to continue that combo. Big damage is coming out. Oh, with one more from Annie to finish it all off, and that is kill. Paul is now up to an O. All right, we are now in match number three. Um, I'll cut you down the sides. Everybody, mind your marks. Let's rock. All right, match number three between Shiari and Paul. Shiari opting for the solo Robo. But this time it's doing a lot of work! <laughs> Catastrophe Cannon coming out! Big damage and that might be the end for Valentine and yes it is! Cerebell's on deck, clown activities detected. Uh, 
I wonder why that's not working actually. <laughs> Oh, big damage coming up from Cerebella right now. Catastrophe Cannon coming out and that will be the end of Cerebella! Ooh, this solo fortune really is working out for Shiari here. Now we're on deck with Annie on Paul's end. Another confirm, another combo here coming out from Shiari. Doing a lot of work. Oh, the fireball into the Hado coming out. Shiari's in trouble. But one confirm can complete it for Shiari's end here. Oh, this, is this is intense right now. Oh, that confirm landed. Let's see if Shiari can close it out. Oh, dropped it! Oh, it, with a sliver of health. That is Paul moving on to the next uh, stage of the tourney. That was close, man. That was close. Uh, Shiari, stay on deck, please. There we go. So next match would be uh, Nebu versus Shiari. Uh... Oh, what happened to Shiari? They probably, they probably don't know. <laughs> They're just constantly being kept in here. I think that's really funny though. <laughs> why does, why does Shiari keep on leaving? Come back, Shiari. Oh good, I have to fight Ruby. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, steal yourself, my friend. Steal yourself. I uh, will. But right now, we are moving on to the next stage of the bracket. We are calling upon Shiari and NGH Nebu. There we go. We have Shiari back here on deck. They're not used to getting uh, so much <laughs> screen time. <laughs> But this is good. We're going through our tournament in a very orderly and efficient manner. Ladies and gentlemen, match number three on your Waifu Wars number five. That would be NGH Nebu versus Shiari uh, rocking the 1v1s. Okay. We have 1v1s right now, folks. We have NGH Nebu on the solo Valentine and the solo Robo Fortune of Shiari. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely uh, has the, the the Robo Fortune combos down. I, I have witnessed this firsthand. I got I got hit with some crossover heads uh, quite a few times there. Although we are running the solo Valentine, she's got some solo mix of her own too. Blocks the overhead, but finds their way back in. All right, uh, Nebu taking round number one very convincingly. Oh, catastrophe cannon coming out! That will land. Goes for the cheeky mix-up. 
Glock's the low this time. Oh, making the incision landing. Brain drain, you'll have to do better than that. Player one wins. And that will be Nebu taking game number one very convincingly, very swift manner. You know, alternatively, Limit, if you think about it, every time Shari leaves, they reset their their win-loss ratio. Mm, that is true. <laughs> so it's actually making it easier for us commentators and the staff to, you know, that know what's going on. It's, it's perfect, actually. It's the big, it's the big brain play. Big brain plays, indeed. He sees uh, things we do not see. Alright, strong pressure coming out from Nebu here. She nice in trouble. Oh! The incisions grab. coming out! Alright, Nebu definitely showing that, uh, some, some work. Some work in the training room for the Valentine. Alright, run up grab. Works every time. I can attest to this. Ooh, actually just confirmed it. I thought they were gonna go for the reset there. I think they meant to, just uh, we're a little bit too quick on the, the trigger. Ooh, the air grab. Ooh, I don't know if they can get the pickup here. Yeah, a little bit too low. Did not get the scalpels out quite on time. This should be character death though. Okay, so we're gonna go for round two. That is taking round number one. Ooh, the head keeps it safe. Keeps it safe again. Shari just desperately just trying to end this man's health bar. Shoot a laser. Just a singular one. Ooh, but Nebu is holding on to that sliver of health. He doesn't want anybody taking it away from him. That sliver of health is precious. Oh, bursted out of there, but empty burst. Another combo coming up from Nebu here. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna run the solo uh, Robo Fortune, you're gonna wanna throw at least a couple more lasers in control. Ooh, kind of really force your opponent. That to takes come that over. round. We have a lot of meter, unfortunately, full meter in fact. Jump over. Lots of opportunities uh, for a comeback. Oh, that level three! The reversal super, you love to see it. And that is Nebu taking round number two. Game number two. Unnecessary right roughness. Nah, you gotta make a statement in fighting games. You gotta make a statement. It's just it's just one giant conversation. That is true, that is true. I have been quoted. Uh, you can hear me out here in the streets saying that fighting games are indeed a conversation. Uh, but once again, ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, if you are in top 8, send me your Twitter ads if you have not already. Um, uh, possibly a lot of our... Um, a lot of our top eight today may have already given it to me, but if you have not, go ahead and DM it to me so that I could make uh, a nice banner this evening for all y'all. There you go, match number three between uh, Shiyari and Nebu. Shiyari fighting back here. Landing a lot of these confirms. Alright, we get the grab here. What's the mix up? Definitely when you get a grab like this, you wanna you wanna find the next hit as soon as you can. A lot of damage fall off on a grab starter. Ooh, kinda runs into the head explosion. Alright, 
Can you get this this finish? We got the level three. That's good kill. Oh, God, that is that kill. Uh, she already on the board. Round number one. Grab here. This is not gonna. Well, we have four bars. Maybe we want to save it for a rainy day. Yes, we do. Went for the reset. Ooh, gets the dead cross on there. Uh, content with drawing dead crosses, but can't really get away with that too much against a three-head robo full screen. Ooh, misses the scalpel. Ooh, jump medium punch gets the grab. Definitely want to spend the bar here. There you go. Oh no! Oh no! Finish. Still has an opportunity here for Shiara to do more damage. This is almost a level three. Oh, Ooh, and of course that will kill. But Shiari, big advantage here. They would have gotten the level three there too. That would have been a kill. All right, has the level three online now. Any touch on Nebu is just dead. Oh, goes for the grab reset. Oh, the unfortunate drop. Ooh, goes for the grab again. Oh, that was a nasty crossover mix up. Oh, Nebu now has corner pressure. Oh, gets oh lots of meter on Shiari, but will they it, keep it simple? And that is dead. There you go. That is kill. That is as simple as you could have kept it right there. Ooh. Tell me where it and goes. And we're to gonna Nebu make him watch sure. it. Uh, good games, NGH Nebu. Nebu keeping it a real. Let's check in, in on our bracket. Uh, we have Moobles. Nebu, stay on deck, please. We'll call on our good friend Moobles. Uh, we're gonna need to call Nebu back. We'll call on our good friends NGH Nebu and Mobiles here, so we could continue on with the next uh, bracket. And then uh, our good friends Geese, Moose, Paul, uh, Ruby uh, will be our first on our the first half of our top eight. And then now we are trying to decide who will be uh, the final bracket here. Uh, hopefully, Roy Scroll, Harbinger, T Rex, and Derb are having their matches as of this time. Uh, Paul, how are you feeling about these matches right now? Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, they're they're pretty solid. Uh, the the most recent one. I would say probably the hypest one so far. Mm -hmm. Kind of, uh, we got to see some nasty uh, solo vow mix up there. You know, the nice bread and butter, uh, you know, restands, uh, the grab, the, the the tick grabs, all that fun good stuff. But uh, I'm I'm tell you the truth, more excited when we finally get into this uh, these later matches. Uh, uh, I'm terrified of Ruby, so uh, we'll see how that Ruby, goes. Uh, Ruby, I'm not gonna count myself. Ruby Chan out, is but... a force is a, a force. force of nature in these tournaments. Uh, Ruby Chan is definitely one to be feared, one to be respected in terms of uh, playing uh, Skullgirls. Uh, but you're no slouch yourself, Paul, so I don't know. <laughs> and we have hey, power- I, Hey, I'm gonna I'm go in there with my best foot forward. Uh, my prayer is at my- at my chest and you know we're gonna give it the best shot we got all right but until then you know we're still running these lower bracket matches we're gonna get ourselves into top eight here and we got nebu versus mubbles nebu versus mubbles uh gentlemen if you guys are ready please go ahead and have your matches oh big uh big jitter that spike that is quite the spike that is big <laughs> jitter spike from mubbles here I believe Mubbles have been uh, connection tested, however, so I am very confused as to why we're having this kind of issue right now. Hopefully, this is just a... Okay, we're good now. Okay, okay we're, we're, we're dropping down to acceptable Sometimes, level. Sometimes we get a little bit of a hiccup, but that's just how it be. Uh, 
once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you have if you have not been connection tested, uh, as per the new ruling of our tournament, um, if your opponent calls for a lag contention, automatically if you're not uh, tested, it goes to them. The win goes to them. Uh, obviously, this has been put into place so that everybody has a good time playing these matches. Right now, we have another one v one Nebu versus Rubles on Valentine and Annie, respectively. Oh, it's starting to come back to me. That's right. Mubbles does run kind of solo Annie. Sometimes runs the big band in the background if they feel like they need to uh, get more neutral on the field. But here we just got a nice bare knuckle brawl 1v1 here. Alright, so content with just kind of throwing uh, projectiles mid-screen. Does not get the, the pillar. Was kind of expecting the pillar more to punish the, the long range dead crosses, but uh, now we kind of have the mix up starting here. Uh, Ops to just finish the combo here. They may have pulled the trigger a little soon, like I mentioned a little bit earlier on that set we had, but we kind of have the corner pressure here. Ooh, gets the conversion. That was a really deep dive right there, but you know, kind of sticks with it. Can we finish our food? Oh yes, yes. We can. Mobile's up one and oh. You know, I gotta say, I really, I really, this is probably one of my more favorite mappings in this game. Uh, the song to this is called "Unfinished Business." You got the salty <laughs> truck in the background. We're under a bridge, settling it out. This map was made for fighting games. Ooh. All right, got the grab here. We're kind of evened up here, but with the first opening to Nebu, we kind of have the original rolling versus the new rolling here. Nice, good, heavy, uh, heavy punch aerial. Very solid kits for both of these uh, rushdown characters. Oh, we we got the we got the corner uh, uh, corner optimal BMB right there just for a moment. Bubbles kind of coming out here, really showing that uh, improvement on the Annie since I first saw them in the in the first Wipe of Wars. All right, so we're kind of back here. Oh, throws out the level three, it lands. We get a counter hit here. Goes for the reset, immediately gets mash level three. I respect Ooh, that. This, big this might kill. <laughs> yes, it yes, does. It does. And that will be Nebu taking game number one. It's in the can. Yeah, that's uh, that Val level three. You usually don't see it too often. Mm -hmm. This Val really, really loves finishing those combos with either her bypass. Throwing scalpels is really nice for some air uh, grab confirms, but... That level three, if that that's that thing hits you raw, it hurts. It hurts quite a bit. You don't expect it, and then your whole life is gone. Ooh. All right now, we are moving into match number two between Nebu and Mubbles. Uh let's see how this one plays out. Let's see if there's any adaptation coming in from Mubbles here. Alright, I hope everybody's having a lovely time here on Waifu Wars number 5. We have Nebu versus Mubbles. Alright, we got the palette change. Don't get the Wonder Woman this time. It's a good color skin. I like it. Oh, that, that, uh, that air crossover is, is so nasty. I, I gotta, I gotta applaud to Nebu. Not have, have, have done quite a bit of digging on Val. Has, has not found that one. May end up looking at the VOD here a little bit uh, later. Check that one out. Alright, so both players just kind of opting to throw projectiles full screen. I'll be the first to admit, these characters aren't true zoners. Mm -hmm. They definitely have some fireball pressure, but beyond that, not really. Ooh, gets the, gets the grab spec right there. Ooh, a little too high for the pillar to convert there. 
I like the idea though. Bubbles, unfortunately, now no bar to speak of. Kind of has to play an honest game now. Ooh, gets the grab. It's also a counter hit grab too. Oh, that definitely would have been death there. I too know the pain of a missed air dodge in the corner. All right, we got the confirm here. One more health bar to go for the side of Nebu. Mubbles trying to make this come back here. Ooh, tries to call it a jump there, but does not land. Doesn't get punished for it too hard, however, gets open here. Nice mix up there with the air grab. We're gonna continue this right here. Oh, I that was some that was some really really nice movement there for a moment. Now we're just trying to you know find their opening here, but unfortunately gets caught. Ooh, trying to go for an air grab resets. Does not land. Ooh, that is Bubbles sticking around. He catches the back dash there. This should be dead. Give me your easiest BNB. That was actually the easiest way you could do that confirm. I'm so proud of Devon right now. I would have gone for the restand. The restand's not that hard, mind you, but in a high pressure situation like that, you got the bar. Just spend the bar. Uh, but that is Nebu taking yet again another round. Uh, by the way, we are actually at our top eight. Thank you for noticing, everybody. It's just it's so fast today because uh, we are uh, we're moving in maximum efficiency, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Yi, Smooth, Paul, Ruby, Mubbles, Nebu, Roy, and Derb. Hold the phone. But we will skip Roy and Derb's fight first because we need to propagate the lower bracket. So we'll proceed on with Goose, uh, Geese, Moose, Paul, Ruby after this match. And then we'll head on to Roy, Skrull, and Derb. And then we'll go back to uh, the upper bracket for winner's finals. And then finish it off for uh, the lower bracket. Alright, so we kind of have a 2 all right now for Nebu. These games have been... Not incredibly close, but Bubbles definitely not out here making it free. Mm -hmm. Definitely keeping it competitive, but just not able to kind of get that, you know, hit the ball right into the in the hole at the end there. Alright, we kind of got the, the offense going. Oh, I got hit there. Nice little alley you. Oh, we have oh, the inst raw the install? Install? Oh, okay. I okay, mean, that's that's works, new right? tech. I did not know you can do that. Uh, usually, I think that is very punishable, even if you go for the, the quick uh, level one um, burst like that. But uh, I think Nebu. It's, not it, it's working out for him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's working out. The Nebu may have tried punishing with a button that was not as fast as it could have been. A little bit greedy on their side. Evens it up straight out. Oh, we have some footsies happening here. First confirmed lands for Valentine. Oh, goes for the low, gets the low. Gets the instant confirm. Oh, the instant air dash overhead. This should be. Oh, burst it out. Oh, that does not a land too, high too there. early. But that will Ooh, kill it, and that will be Nebu moving on to the next stage of this Everyone tournament. Good show. We're calling on our good friends Musenheim and Geese right now. We are. This is this is probably the fastest tournament we've ever had. <laughs> the fastest tournament here on the slam. Waifu Wars number five is short and sweet. I love it. I will say though, I I, I do hope maybe two weeks from now, we kind of get some of our returners back. Uh, definitely two, uh, I, if I recall, a couple couple Wife of Wars ago, definitely not as, a, not a big turnout from what I saw. Uh, and mostly due to the giant major that was occurring that weekend. So I'm hoping we can see Zest back here. Yes, uh, Zest. You know, a couple of the big heavy hitters. I'd love, uh, you know, and definitely new blood. 
you know, new blood always welcome. But for now, I mean, this is uh, not a tale as old as time, but we're getting there. We got Geese and Musenheim kind of about to throw some hands here. I don't know if they've actually officially met in brackets here, but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this. They probably have. have. They a... most likely have. I, it, I'm just, I, I highly doubt that so. these guys, these amazing players have not met each other in bracket. It's, it's, so the, the thing with, so every tournament here on the Slam, it kind of has its own identity. Uh, Skullgirls is more of a tight-knit community, to be honest, and everybody kind of knows each other. Yes! As opposed to like, oh, yeah! uh, Melty Blood, where everybody everybody's new, you get new players every week, and in Guilty Gear, how big it is. But right now, we have Beast L with the classic Bayo and Moose with their classic Parasol. Match number one happening right now. Running the double Annie skin. We got two Annies on board right now. Ooh, got the heart attack here. Oh, the mix up is starting. Nice air grab. Got the pick up right here. Oh, goes for the fast contra there. Ah, DP is just keeping it very safe. Ooh, who's that opting? Hey, I I don't mind. I mean, I could throw some projectiles at you, but I kind of want to play the game too. So you're gonna take this mix. All right, we're in this corner here. What's the mix? Goes for the low. Oh, and that is the cool. Ooh, gets the overhead. It does not connect, but still manages to make it work. Oh, gets that uh, hype going. Oh, okay. Is that a level Here's 3 hype? Starts. Yeah, we got 3 hype right now. Gonna spend 1 to extend. Another 1 to extend again. We're gonna go for the full. Oh, air dash is back to... Oh, this is gonna be a, a punish for sure here. Oh, the oh answer is back. Down. Hello? And this is death. And that is death. Uh, Geese wow, taking geese. game number one. Geese are really holding the line there, you know? It, you know, we've said it many waifu wars. Every time we see this Bayo band uh, comp with the Bella sometimes as the, the secondary. Mm -hmm. You know, it all all eggs are on that Bayo basket. <laughs> the Bayo basket. In order to in order to uh, defeat Geese, you must defeat their Bayo wolf first. Totally not the Street Fighter reference. Now, that being said, though, his Bella and his band aren't free. Mm. You know, you oh, still gotta go for oh, those. Oh, oh, strong words. Who will no, no, they aren't free. That's what I'm saying. Like, you still have to go through the rest of the team. It's by no means over, but, you know, uh, that that's just the strength of the pump, right? So, you just don't want to, you do not want to enter this, uh... This terrifying vortex that is the rock paper scissors of fail in the corner. Oh, doesn't get the conversion though. Musa and kind of switching to their tri team. This is the team I know Musa for. So, definitely recognizing that they need to go a bit more on this front here. Oh, this is a dead big band right here. Ooh, goes for the low reset. Resets high, it's death here. Cross under. Does not uh, trigger the uh, uh, IPS right there. Gets the kill. A lot of red health on the big band. Do not let this character get oh, the corner. Oh, that was a heavy counter hit. Oh, the overhead. Ah, oh, he's just not bleeding himself. All right, well, here's our opening. Oh, drops it unfortunately and squiggly with that really, really tiny frame. Ah, this is the air grab. Pretty easy to confirm right here, and and that is down. kill Musenheim on the board. Oh, limit! You hate you hate to see it. That was that was two big openings right there for the Bella. We had the the level three on board. We had a possible 
uh, other snap combo as well, but, no. It's just those little moments, right? Mm hmm If they're given to you and you don't take them, what can you say? All right, we are now moving into match number three between um, Musenheim and Giesel. Time to put on a show. Action! Oh, goes for the, the full screen. Oh, PBG Z Wolf Blitzer. Oh, goes to the low. Doesn't get the confirm. Doesn't get the confirm again. Oh, we have a happy birthday. Oh, picks it up. We're not gonna snap. Oh no. Uh, we have a full green bar here. Snap Ooh. the character out. He gets the big man in here. Ooh, actually catches the dive right where he can get the pick up. I guess we can. Ooh, goes for the heavy kick there. Alright, kind of putting the bell out there. Most, most of the health right here. Ooh, the lowest elbow you'll ever see in your entire career. <laughs> the right lowest. before my eyes. Ooh, the unblockable. Ooh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Kind of pops up bell there, just to get it confirmed. Ooh, get hit low. That low light kick, one of the best in the game. Why is it on a grappler? Just slow roll things. <laughs> Just Fun activity. <laughs> but right now we have Musenheim with a big band left. One more character. The heavy counter hit, and this is death. No, doesn't get the front up. My boy Big Ben, he bounced. He's a big boy. Oh, we got the grab here though. Yeah, make it easy. Level three. Does not kill fairly. East could have definitely went for the level one afterwards on Beowulf. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that way, but definitely could have killed there. This is now up so. 2 and 1. Alright, Geese coming out here. Mm -hmm. Geese coming out here, putting their best foot forward. Geese out here putting on a show. Whoever wins this match will be put uh, forth for our winner's finals. Uh, that'll be the first competitor. Uh, they will move on to the lower brackets. Uh, in Waifu Wars number five. Oh wow! Can't believe it's been five already. It's I had to actually go double check. I thought, you, I thought you'd be fibbing out here on stream, but <laughs> ah, like this is our fifth Waifu Wars. Who will our star be tonight? What's wrong? Alright, kind of opening up with the squigs this time. Oh, the low. May have caught a, either a back dash or a jump there. Low again. Oh, kind of a lot of undizzy here. Tries to go for the burst phase, does not get it. He's showing patience here. Here's his opening. Overhead. I got hits. And that is kill Musenheim putting on the clinic with uh Squidly. Oh we have the happy birthday, can we bring it over to the corner? Oh big man! You're big, but you're not big enough! Oh the get off me, the DP! Oh, the overhead, into the overhead again! Alright, we're gonna see some definite big man activity here. Just don't overextend your assists. Ooh, answering Ooh. back here. Big Ben, stay in that corner. Musenheim has work to do. This is too far, but this is a kill. Oh! Why did you go for it? Oh, the, the parries! Oh! <laughs> Hello, Daigo, Daigo called, hello. Uh, hello. But that is hello. Musenheim. <laughs> that is Musenheim, though, taking that game. Ooh, what a, what a good fucking game. Oh. 
Jesus yeah, like Christ. I said, it, the, once that bail goes down, the the shell is there. That this this team still puts out massive damage, mm -hmm. but it, you know, Bella Band, they're they're a bit on the slower side. Their neutral is okay. It's not bad. It's not the worst, but it's exploitable. Mm -hmm. it very much is so. But right now, we are in the final match between Moose and Geese. Whoever takes this takes all the marbles. Uh, match number five, let's go! Ooh, the big punch there. Goes for a very high build up there and gets punished for it. Now we have uh, no, the aircraft. It's not over. Oh, go for it again because we're cheeky like that. He's not letting it happen though. Yet again here. Oh, the blocks were so good, and then unfortunately gets pulled, uh, gets taken out right at the angle. A little sad there, too. That was four block hits, no push block. Oh, the low. Will we be able to eliminate Geese's Beowulf here? Is the question. Oh! Big Super's coming out! Parasol is taking hella damage. Now we're down to just Annie. Musenheim is in dire straits here. The lowest. My legs were still in the air. I bet you didn't know that. I didn't either. Oh, Annie is now trying to break the shell. Oh, that lands! That lands, and that is the damage. Muda, 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 coming out from Big Band. And that is kill. Peace L is moving on to winner's finals. Uh, but right now, let's call on our very good friend, uh, Ruby Chan. Ruby, hop on in, please. And the next match will be Ruby Chan versus our very own Paul. Here we go, we have Ruby Chan versus Paul here. And essentially what is winner semis? Uh, whoever wins this one will be going uh, on to winner's finals. Um, but before we head on over there, we're gonna go pro propagate the lower bracket and finish it off down there. All right, match number one between Ruby Chan and indubitably Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. All right, oh, strong opening coming in from Ruby here. Big slaps coming out from Cerebella. And we're gonna have to stay and take all of these damages. Oh my god, that, that, that might finish off uh, Paul's Valentine. Relentless pressure coming in from Ruby. And that is kill! Paul down one character, Cerebella on deck. Oh, once again, damage is coming out. Oh, Paul isn't able to hit back here. Uh, big damage is coming out for uh, Ruby Chan. Let Paul play the game. <laughs> but it is it is the nature of Skullgirls. If you're not uh, if you're not able to answer the offense that your opponent is bringing out, uh, it is what it is. Uh, but right now we have Annie on deck. 
And once again, grabbed by the Bayo into this infinite. Possibly death. Oh, dropped it this time. But the religious pressure that is Ruby Chan is insane. And this is kill. This is kill. And that is kill. Ruby Chan up 1 and 0. It was an overwhelming victory. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I have several families. That's rough. That's rough. All right, we are now in match number two between Paul and Ruby Chan. Who will our star be tonight? Action! All right. But this time, Paul is answering back. Not quite the same match he had earlier. And once again, Valentine is in the corner. Ruby Chan landing a lot of hits. And that is kill. That is one dead Valentine. Now we're moving on to Cerebella on Paul. Corner pressure on Paul. Not finishing off these confirmed though. Oh. Ruby Chan opening up uh, Cerebella. Oh, that landed! And this is now Ruby Chan's turn yet again. Big damage coming out, continuing that combo. Oh, dropped it this time, though. Oh, this time, Paul Cerebella is doing some work. We now have a Cerebella. Oh! Dropped out of that combo, and that is kill. Paul is now down to just Annie. And yet again, another kill <laughs> by the referee, and that is Ruby Chan up 2 and 0. Oh. Uh, once again, we are uh, with Ruby Chan and Paul here. Match number 3 on deck. Let's see if there's any changes Paul will apply here uh, just to catch up to the relentless pressure that is Ruby Chan. All right, match number three between Ruby Chan versus Paul. Uh, Ruby Chan getting that first confirm. Big combos coming out now in corner pressure. Oh, big damage coming out. And Paul's Valentine will have to bite the dust here. Uh, Cerebella just hop on in and is already taking damage. Ruby Chan's corner pressure is incredibly strong. Uh, but Cerebella finally got out of that pressure and is now hitting back. Swapped out of Cerebella to save that pressure and chip kill. We now have uh, Annie on Paul's deck here right now. And that is kill. 
Yet again, another referee kill. Ooh. Rough. That is rough. Uh, but that is Ruby Chan moving on to winner's finals. We are now moving on to the lower bracket. Uh, Moose and Nebu. Uh, oh, sorry. Roy and Roy Scroll and Derb. Roy Scroll and Derb, come on down, please. Oh no, I got pegged with three times on stream. Feels bad, man. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, you were up against a very talented player. Uh. But right now we're moving on to propagate the lower bracket. We have Roy Scroll and Derb here to finish off the lower bracket. Uh, we're just waiting for our good friend Derb. And um, we'll get the games on the way. How are you feeling, Paul, by the way? You're okay? Uh, <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel a little destroyed right now. I um, That game too, I felt a little bit better. I uh, I got my opening there and I kind of... I, I wanted to go for a mix-up in the corner. You did, Al, you did. I, um, you had, uh, you had uh, quite a few uh, openings, quite a few showings there in game number two. Uh, unfortunately, Ru Ruby Chan is just that much of uh, a force yeah you, i can't i can't afford to drop versus a player like ruby chan he uh he, he takes a hit and he takes it to the bank as you saw i uh i guessed a couple grabs i guessed a couple overheads but uh, yeah <laughs> not really good at rochambeau sometimes you know they mm -hmm. just be like that uh but right now yeah. we are waiting for derb uh derb uh please be on deck right now that being said, though, it is exciting. Our uh, semi-finals is... Uh, sorry, our winner's finals. Yeah, winner's finals would be Ruby Chan. I wonder Chan. why that's, that's under the row of semis. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a, a bare-knuckle bare brawl of wrestler v. wrestler. Mm -hmm. There we go. We have Derb here, the the veritable Robo-Fortune main. And Roy Skull, the current champion of the Waifu Wars, actually. So we have a lot, we have a very good game coming up here right now. I believe Derb landed third last uh, Waifu Wars, Waifu Wars number four. Uh, but they are gotcha. back here to brawl yet again. Roy Skrull versus Derb here in your game number one. Waifu Wars number ladies five, and ladies and gentlemen. Showtime. Alright, Burb is running the solo Robo Fortune uh, once more. That's the classic right there for him. Alright, so definitely an awkward thing, because Peacock definitely up there is one of the better zone uh, you know, best zoners in this game, but you know, the only one that could kind of uh, assault that throne is Robo Fortune. Mm -hmm, that is true. Catastrophe coming out here. It's not gonna come here. And it lands! Oh, not like still, projectile. oh not yet. And the follow-up beam does, however, and that is Roy Skull down to two characters. Robo Fortune on their own deck. Locks the head and immediately just goes into a nice combo there. Uh, a little bit of a drop there. They probably did not want to keep that going, you know, don't want to build the green bar too much. Oh, there's the mix-up right there. Goes crossover high. Oh, hits a button there. Oh, it does not get the pickup right there. Alright, they're kind of on the back foot now. Does not have too much health to speak of. Can snap to get a bit, of, a bit of it back. Has the bar to do so. Also has the level 3, so... Roy better be very conscious about when they call us this here. And Super's coming out, and the Catastrophe Cannon to close it off! Will that kill? Yes it will! And that will be Roy Skrull taking game number one. That was a very good game number one. Ro or Derb uh, has shown a lot of prowess on Robo Fortune, taking one character out from Roy's uh, deck, but Roy answered back very convincingly and took out the solo 
Robo Fortune in good fashion. Oh, once again, we are now in match number two between Royce Crow and Zerb. Alright, can I go with the full screen? Uh, immediately goes to the level one, thinking they might uh, start shooting projectiles from that range. Oh, gets the quick overhead. What's the mix up here? Oh, goes for standing overhead. You got. You love to see that uh, that guilty gear coming to play the dust. <laughs> oh, that is kill. So clean. So clean right there. Yeah, that, that's the power of these soldiers trios. It, it is a two-touch every time. Well, depending on the, the opener, obviously, but uh, can definitely easily make it a two-touch. That's very silly robo things ensue. Laser beam fights. Lasers coming out left and right. Literally. <laughs> Yeah, Roy understanding that because of the ratio, even trading beam for beam is not going to be helpful here. Oh, keeps it safe with the head, blocks the standing overhead. Just not first. Oh, the armor gets broken. Oh, catches the jump, gets hit by the DP. Ooh, dead burst that time in the air. Definitely not safe. Oh, oh nice the, tech, the grab. Uh, the grab cancel there. Oh, gets the jump back. Shouldn't be hit here, yes. Keeps it safe with the level 3. Ooh, gets hit overhead. Snap How many supers does Annie have? have killed the first two cars. He has way too many. Oh, that hits both? Here we go, the super uh, catastrophe cannon. Oh, Roy, Roy definitely beating themselves up. Never mind. Okay, we can't convert off this, but... Derb is still in this. Just one confirmed, one touch territory for both of them. Surprise, surprise. Oh! Oh, and that is grab and kill. I'm surprised Derb isn't just going full screen and just shooting lasers. There's nothing Annie can do about that. Uh, Roy is now up to an O, but that was Derb's strongest match yet. That was insane. I honestly thought uh, Derb had it in the bag, to be honest. But I mean, after that, I'm for, I'm, I mean, I understand the idea to snap there and guarantee that no health will come back, mm -hmm. but could have just killed with that combo. Mm -hmm. Had the two bars. He did have one touch territory there, but it is what it is. Um, something good to look back to once we have the VODs up. But we are in match number three. Uh, Derb versus Roy Scroll in the spoopy stage, no less. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Wars number five. This is your top eight on deck right now. Derb versus Roy Scroll. Does not burst there. Kodetaki in heads, chat though. saying they are having fun. Sag Derb says geese. Ooh, the DP just straight beating that out. Ooh, gets the, the flash full screen. Ooh, ooh gets hit there. This might be the first match out of this that Peacock is actually doing work for Roy Skrull. Typically, Derb has the uh, Peacock assassinated in the earlier parts of the match. But in this match, Peacock is here to stay. Missiles are gonna hit and cancel that. Uses the head to break the distance. Ooh, we're gonna pick it up full screen. Hard knock down here. And, oh, and that is just kill. Dead. I am surprised that kill. I guess I do not know the strength of that. Alright, we have Derb at half health, but this is more than enough. We just keep shooting lasers. Oh, 
Catastrophe Cannon coming out, keep the distance from Annie. Oh, can we get the pickup? Yes, we can. Oh, big damage Simple. coming out. Nice. There you go. That is kill. Roy Skrull is moving on to the next stage of the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Waifu, Waifu Wars number 5. <laughs> Let's call on our next uh, participants here on deck. We have uh, Moose and Nebu. Moose and Nebu, gentlemen, please hop on down. Let's see if I brushed up on my Peacock matchup a little later here. Waiting for our good friends Moose and Nebu here to propagate the next of the lower brackets. And then after that, we will have uh, Paul and Roy Skrull. And then we will have our winners' um, winners uh, finals. And then our loser semis. And then inevitably our losers' finals. And then on to grands. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Waifu Wars number 5. We are now uh, showcasing our amazing, amazing top 8. Moose and Heim versus NGH Nebu coming on deck right now. Alright, we have Nebu here. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Uh, kind of a mixed bag of what we're going to get from Moosenheim. They've mm -hmm. shown, you know, Squiggly, Parasol, Big Band, yeah. Annie. So it could be any mix mix and match of that. Probably going to see the solo Valentine from Nebu. Oh, we have a big uh, spike from Nebu here. Hopefully that does hopefully, not come into play. Yeah, hopefully that uh, that eases out once we're on deck here. Oh, we're going with the solo solo. Okay. One v one. Like I versus said, mixed Nebu. bag. I didn't even expect this. I thought of seven alternatives and it was the eight. Oh, doesn't get the conversion there. Oh, the overhead. Oh, does not get the pickup there. Very good conversion there. Oh, goes for the grab, could have just uh, heavy counter him instead. Surprised Moose and uh, probably thought they could have pressed a button there. It's, it's very awkward that, uh, that burst bait. Cool. Reversal scalpels. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does, you're appreciative. The grab there. Let's finish our food. Get the conversion. Cool. Go, goes for the medium punch. Thankfully, not enough uh, enough damage. Didn't have to worry about the IPS. Here we go. Moose is um, quite a bit of dire straits here. NGH Nebu is showing us a Valentine clinic. Literally, she is in the clinic. Uh, Sending out those scalpels, sending out uh, that fun gas. But Mussenheim will answer back. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, just uh, recognizes they didn't get hit, but a little bit too late. Alright, we got the ball here. Oh, there's a landing. It's the opening. Ooh, that was very cheeky. I dig it. Oh, okay. oh, it goes a little bit too forward. The burst being connected, but a little bit too close. Suddenly, anyone's game here. One touch Falcon. territory playing footsies and the range zoning game. Ooh, for sure, he can landing on Squiggly. 
Oh, oh cheeky there, overhead think. super taking the game. Nebu up one. Nebu may have been trying to actually did not have par for any supers there. So yeah, no hitting hitting some sort of button. Not quite sure which one. Possibly trying to get the chip damage out. out, but luckily enough landed the full hit. I feel like mm. that was the train of thought there. I could be wrong. I'm not speaking for the players. Uh, it's just that if I were in that situation, I would do something like that. Mm. Uh, shooting out that projectile super, I would be. My main goal would be to land that chip damage. Uh, but luckily for Anebu, it was a full confirm. But right now, we are in match number two between uh, Nebu and Musenheim. May I take the lead? Certainly. Let's do this in one take. Let's rock! <laughs> Musenheim is saying, hey, you know what? We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep this nice and fresh. I, 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 I want the assist to control. I want to be able to do some set play here. That being said, the one downside, a little bit more susceptible to that damage. Gets the grab. Gets dropped, gets the grab again. Definitely want to see Moosenheim try to tech things a bit more. Sure, it's not leading to too, too much damage, but, you know, just take the grab as the meme mentions. Well, sometimes you take out. too many, you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's a very big thing in Strive from what I've seen. Udli's ball is out. Alright, what are we gonna do with this one right here? Oh, give me back that parasol. Oh, the overhead. Ooh, the overhead, uh, the crossover uh, this time gets blocked. Nice push block here. We're getting back in here. Ooh, we got a assist call to keep the ground in lava. Oh, this is a lot of chip here. No oh, big damage coming out. Never in trouble, and that is kill. Musenheim is now up one and one. Good answer coming from Musenheim there, swapping from the solo into a two-person uh, two party. We are heading into match number three. Don't think we're gonna see a character change from Nebu. Haven't really seen that too much out of him. Ooh. All right, yeah, we're keeping it nice, keeping, keeping it simple, it, keeping it soft and kosher. Oh wow! Okay, Be beats the, uh, the super call there. Not sure uh, using the bar this early who this favors. I want to say it's possibly boost right now, but only because they have the corner pressure. Here it's kind of been taken away, so we'll see what, what comes about of it. We have Yuzuriha in the background from one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Uh, Undernight in birth. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Sorry, sorry, simping moment there. I apologize. That's quickly doing a lot of work here, though. Alright, nice confirm here. Goes for the DP, probably gonna see a charge. Oh, a little bit too close again, needs to back up just slightly for that to work. Uh, coming in from chat, says Geese, choose Anu stage, please. Oh, nice snap out. Forcing the squiggly on deck. Oh, goes for the reversal, but does not get tapped. Oh, 
or mine. Oh, swapping and heading that. That was a very, uh, a very nice uh, guard cancel, but uh... and that is kill. Musenheim up two and one. That's all, folks. That is all, folks. Let's see what kind of adjustment our good friend Nebu will do here. So looking like Moose uh, definitely noticed what to do here. Mm -hmm. Wanted that extra neutral from the assist and is kind of uh, not running away with this, but just every exchange is coming out just a bit and a bit and a bit more on top. Yeah. All right, match number four between Musenheim and NGH Nebu uh, keeps the same character for right, Nebu. We have, doesn't really we have a, a we have a character change from Nebu. Just the color splash. Oh no, they added the big band. What am I saying in my life? Adjustment oh, oh, initiated. Happy birthday! Could have gone a snap there. Gets the grab. Oh, he get the grab again. Deadly sharp coming out. Ooh, that damage, damage though, the punch. Gets the overhead. That's definite death. Wow, that that heavy counter hit though. Oh. And yes, you picked the big band for the neutral, but you are a large person. You are right in my sight, man. That is a wrap. So fast and so clean. Musenheim is moving on up. What a show. All right. Uh, but let's call on deck. Next on deck. I believe it's, it's you, my good friend. Yes, it is. Let's call on... Roy Skrull for this next match. Uh, Roy, come on down, please. There we go. Oh, we have Roy immediately here. Very good. Wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, essentially losers' uh, quarters. Uh, we have Roy Skrull versus our good friend, indubitably Paul, in this uh, Waifu Wars number five. Hope everybody's having a lovely lovely Sunday evening let's put a prediction up who will win Paul versus Roy you down to size the gorilla fate is yearning showtime ladies and gentlemen Roy scroll versus fall on deck Put up your points. Who will win? We have a prediction going. Yes, let's gamble. Gambling initiated. The gambling protocol. Toss in your limit coins. Uh, but right now, Paul has offense advantage. Uh... Roy is trying to get his distance out. Projectiles coming out from Roy Skrull's end. No real confirms here, but Paul is taking a bunch of chip damage. Swaps out into Cerebella because... Uh, oh! Snap back. Valentine, get back here. You lost all that red HP. And now you're gonna suffer for it. Unless Valentine can make work happen here. Big gra command grab coming out. Confirms having here. Uh, oh! Snap out of it. Bursted out of it. 
Lenny, big boy Lenny coming out. That is Kale. We are now moving into uh, Cerebella on deck for Paul here. Oh, big damage coming out right now, and that is Kale. Roy Scroll, uh, commanding lead here. Annie left on Paul's deck. Oh, nice side swap into the kill. That is Roy Scroll down one character. Robo Fortune on deck versus Annie. Lots of meter for Annie here. Let's see if they can do anything. Oh, install riding the fireball. Nice setup here. Lots of opportunity for damage, but if you can't do damage if you're getting hit. Roy Scroll landing that confirmed. Bursted out to get off that pressure. And Catastrophe Cannon coming out. Ro Paul is taking a lot of damage. Lots to punish here. Uh, Roy's call on their Annie now. And that is kill. Uh, Roy's call up 1-0. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys put in some limit coins. Love the song on this stage. This is your fa is this your favorite stage, Geese? Uh, but right now we have match number two coming in for Roy Scroll versus Paul. Ooh, it is beautiful. And then after this match, we will have our winners finals between Geese L and Ruby Chan, and then we'll finish off the lower Ladies bracket. Uh, whoever Showtime. wins these next couple of matches, and then we'll head on to grands. Right, nice opening here, uh, counter opening from both sides, uh, Annie out on deck, uh, Valentine is in Lenny vicinity taking a lot of damage here. Uh, Paul is back, snapping back that downtime in. Lost the red health gone. Couldn't recover, but downtime's doing the work here now. Corner pressure is strong on Paul here. Reset it. Dropped it though. Royce Cole dropping that Lenny. You gotta get out of that Lenny pressure. It's gonna explode, and that is kill. Uh, we have uh, clown activities coming in from Cerebella. Once again, clown activity is coming out. <laughs> oh, catastrophe cannon coming out strong here. Paul might lose a rebella. And that is it. We have Valentine back on deck and might lose it neatly. And yes, it does. And he now left on Paul's team. We are in footsies range, ladies and gentlemen. This is Street Fighter 5 right now. Trying to find the right confirmed. Ooh, a Royce Crow confirms first. Drops it though. Lots of chip damage coming in from Roy Scroll here. Paul in trouble. And Roy gets the first confirm off of Annie. This could kill. Catastrophe Cannon coming out to finish it off. And that is indeed kill. Roy Scroll up 2 and 0. Oh. All right, we are moving into match number three between Paul and Roy Scroll. Ooh, I like this song. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Nice opening coming in from Paul here. 
Oh, not completing these combos, but big grabs coming out now in confirm. Trying to approach the the peacock, but not having any success here from Paul. Peacock really strong and staving away that pressure. Now landing confirm themselves. Big combos coming out from Peacock. Super coming out. This is big damage. Might not kill, but big for pressure here coming out. Once again, another super, and that is kill. Paul Valentine is out. We are now with Sarah Bella here. Clown activities detected on deck, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Roy Scrolls Peacock continues to dominate here. But Paul is answering back with their Cerebella. And that is kill! Voice, uh, Paul answering back. Voice called now on Robo Fortune and Annie on deck. Annie uh, picking out pressure but answered back by Robo Fortune. Big damage, catastrophe cannon. That is big damage. Super coming out from Annie here. Now Annie on deck for Royce 12 with the confirm. Landing a reset here. Big damage. This might kill Paul's Annie. Unless they drop. No, they will not. That is a super coming out. And now Paul is left with nothing but Cerebella. Corner pressure is strong on Royce 12 and getting that confirmed big damage coming out. Oh, stuffing that super. Paul is not giving up that easily. Oh, getting the confirm. And that is kill! Roy Skrull is moving on up 3 and 0. Oh, Emma Sama Q, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are playing uh, top 8 right now uh, here on Waifu Wars number 5, uh, Skullgirl Second Encore. Good show coming in from Roy Skrull. And Roy will be moving on up into the next stage of this tournament. They will be moving on for uh, loser semis. Uh, but right now, we'll be moving on to the winner side of things. Uh, we call upon our very good friends, Geese L and Ruby Chan. And my co commentator, Paul, is back. Welcome back, sir. Thank you very much. Good show, good show. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've done better against Roy this uh, tournament, better than previous. I'm. I'm glad some of the things I learned about Peacock uh, kind of helping me out there, but that was the first uh, that was the first mountain to climb. The next two is uh, definitely their Robo and their Annie, but hey, that's what it's all about, right? That is what it is all about. Uh, but right but now, enough about me. Who cares what I have to say, right? <laughs> no, that's not true. The big mama slamma jamma that is this match coming up here. This is our winner's finals, ladies and gentlemen. This is a first to three between Yubi Chan and Geese L. This is the Bayo Showdown. You love to see it. The, the gentleman's hype right there. Uh, I'm pulling up a prediction here, ladies and gentlemen, while they are fighting. Who will win in your winner's finals? Uh, Geese L or uh, Ruby Chan? Uh, he's kind of getting out there for a moment, but uh, <laughs> there's there's no breaks on the foot on the Ruby train right about now here. Oh, great block. Uh, recognizing the chair was, uh, uh, was right between the chair and the available. So Ruby showing that uh, if you're against this team, which uh, you know uh, they are very intimate with this team as they play themselves, uh, why bother killing Beowulf when you can just snap him out and kill his friends? That is true. Now it's just Beowulf with no friends. Beowulf 
most much would rather have friends. Uh, like, anyway. Oh, are we gonna see it? Number one, number one again. I don't think this is kill. Very close though. Okay, we oh, still got a bit of a bit of is left. dominating here. What a force to be reckoned with, and that is kill. Ruby Shine is now up one and oh. Now you're playing with power. Now you're playing with power, Nintendo power. Ladies and gentlemen, this is wrestling. This is wrestling, wrestling. I will say though, I'm a little disappointed in Ruby. I didn't see the penguin. Mm. I did not see the no penguin. No penguin kill. Is it is it a true Beowulf win if the penguin doesn't show up? That is true. So. These, these are the right questions. Well, we have an identical team between Geese and Ruby. They're they're basically from the same school of thought here. Oh, pops the moon. Closest thing you'll ever see to a moon drive in this game. Mm -hmm. Beowulf bursting. Gets the grab here. Goes for the funny reset there, but uh, Ruby's saying, hey, I was doing those uh, back in my day. I ain't sleeping at the wheel here. You need that red hell. Oh, that is a dead big grab. He's kind of seeing their opportunity there, really laying into that big grab assist. Grab on the, in the air right there. Gets the hard knockdown. What's the mix? Oh, PBGC elbow, but we're already behind you. Ooh, Ruby Chan yet again taking out another character. We're now left with just the Bayo on Geese's end. <laughs> So Ruby Chan is using the uh, reverse approach. Kill uh, Geese's friends first before eliminating the Bayo, and that there. is a penguin kill. Alright, now now it's one up uh, in my heart. <laughs> but we can't the, uh, even the consider scoreboard that says one. otherwise. We are now up. The scoreboard does say otherwise. This is true. What approach uh, does Geese need to do here in order to stave off the relentless pressure that is Ruby Chan? I mean, it really. I mean, he knows. He knows the team he's fighting. He's playing it himself. That um, is true. So, it really comes down to: Can you run your offense versus your opponent? That is true. Your opponent true. is running their offense. Akuretaki uh, in chat is saying, "Go Geese L. He's a Geese stand." Well, let's see if Geese can execute here. Getting that early hype uh, punished by a confirm from Ruby. Drops the combo. You don't see that every day on Ruby's side. Gets for the arm right at the last bit there. Doesn't matter. Hey, I've got a Grendel arm. Rings close to the corner. No one does he speak of. Somehow Big Ben gets out. Apparently, being a big bone does help sometimes. Oh, snap out. It's snap on Big Band on the corpse. So we have a lot of these so fans in chat. Uh, Fiori is all saying, Vamos, Geese. Oh, but Ruby Chan, what a force to be reckoned with. Oh, the mash out. Oh, I, again, the Big Band. Somehow acting like a small character in this game. Block the high. Block the low. Oh, and the penguin kill. Finish it off. Ruby Chan is heading into grand final, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going into our lower brackets. That was an insane match, by the way. 
Uh, good show coming in from Ruby, coming in from Geese. Thank you so much. Uh, Ruby Chan will be heading on to our grand finals in convincing fashion. Uh, we'll ask Ruby Chan for a very quick and uh, short interview later. But right now, we're moving on to Loser Semis with Roy Skrull and Moose. All right. This should, this should prove to be a fun one. It will be a fun one, absolutely. I mean, it's always fun when we lose time. You don't know what this... What this, the, uh, this man's... <laughs> this man is going to run. This ma man's insane. Um, but right now, we are... Heading on in with our good friends Moose and Roy Skrull. And they are here already, ready to go at it. This is your loser semis, ladies and gentlemen. Darn, I can't believe I'm spectating the next match. Uh. So, Limit, I gotta ask, mm. what's, uh, what game... What, what have you been playing? Fighting game-wise. What, Has it what, been mostly Melty? Have you been dabbling back into Eunice? I have not been playing any fighting games lately. <laughs> No time, I see. I no, have I got no time. You. you know what game I play? I, I totally understand this now, yeah. Sting. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Um, oh, we, we got Royce for going with his Valentine. But if I were to... But if I were to... Uh, to give a game that I would play, I would like to put in more time in... Well, here, in Skullgirls and Melty Blood. Um... Because as far as like knowledge base is concerned, I do have uh, quite a bit of knowledge on Guilty Gear more than Melty and Skullgirls. So that as far as commentating is concerned, I can hold my own in Guilty Gear, no problems. But I feel like I'm a bit more lacking when it comes to our amazing games here in Skullgirls and Melty Blood. So that's the fighting games I would want to put more time in every day. But right now, Roy Skrull is putting in a clinic assassinating Moose and Heinz Parasol in a very short uh, time here. Moose is now just left with their enemy. Wanted to go for the quick reset there. I mean, I'm glad Roy pulling out their, their Valentine. I, you know, it, even with all the knowledge I have on Skullgirls, definitely the most comes into this character with how much I've looked into and wanted to practice. So, definitely putting out a clinic here. Ooh, Roy Skrull up 1 0. Oh. But yeah, Lemon, I totally get it. You know, the, the grind's starting to hit me as well. You know, I'm, I'm honestly very sad I can't join our our melty tournaments anymore at least as of now mm -hmm. maybe a little later when my schedule changes but uh we might change the time when we're hosting melties because uh melty players kind of requested to do it on a saturday it's just that i do want to keep one saturday to myself to do some chores get some things done you know just mm -hmm. for my own mental health <laughs> no of but, course yeah but no, like... we might we might run one of these melty tournaments on a saturday perhaps next week we'll see Oh, but it's, okay. everything is already scheduled, so if anybody has scheduled their time, I don't want to ruin that, but uh, we can do some last-minute changes. We'll see, we'll see. Right now, we are in match number two between Moosenheim versus Roy Skrull here on Waifu Wars number five, Loser Semis. Here lies you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! All right, let's see kind of how Moosenheim uh, reacts here with a, a different approach. Definitely on the... Uh, I, I think Moosenheim definitely having a problem with his DT assist. Uh, Roy, very honestly good at knowing when to press the DP button. Very nice to have that uh, reversal at any time. Strong pressure coming in from Moose here. Really punishing this Valentine in the corner. Oh, gets the double. Oh, it drops, but he still got the character. That kill. is kill. Royce Ball is now left to the end. Oh, yeah, that does not work. So, forward, uh, I believe, is uh, projectile immune. And that beam is very much considered a projectile. That was such a weird interaction. I played this game for how many years and I've never seen that. Alright. Got the heavy counter hit. This should kill. The Undizzy is 
building Ooh, all of goes for the, the IPS gets triggered, not remembering what normal they started with on that. But on Moose is in a very comfortable situation. Moose is taking the game. That is one and one right now. Moose and Heim versus Roy Skull. Uh, Legend of Zali, welcome. Vamos Moose. We have some Moose stands in chat and also thank you for following Legend of Zali. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the slam. We host fighting games here. Sometimes I play RPGs if I get the time, which is never. But <laughs> every weekend we do have fighting games. Right now we have Waifu Wars number 5, Skullgirl second Encore on deck. Uh, welcome. Alright, we are now moving into match number three. They're taking... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was, was going to say, they're taking quite a bit of time. Tisk, mm -hmm. tisk. It looks like we'll have to operate. Let's do this in one day! Alright, we got it all tied up, 1-1. One, one. Let's see what happens here. Oh, going with the Dick Tracy, the yellow. Very cool. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this, this, the, the anti DP is so weird. Oh, Roy actually bringing out the Kind of wanting to play the Valentine and with the other two. Uh, adjustment coming in from Roy here, bringing out the, the Peacock. Ooh, respects it this time. Oh, the big band is bleeding. the big band is bleeding very much so. Oh, this is this is looking like this is, oh, that was a nice ferry. Ah, uh, gets the run up. Oh, and that was very quick. A very that was swift very win decisive. from Roy Scroll. Can I get a round of applause for our contestants? That uh, peacock adjustment uh, was major. For uh, Roy Scrolls win there. Yeah, it's just scary. Like, I mean, I run the assist myself. I understand the the, the strength that it has. Uh, if you have a character that's very fast on the ground, they can pick up the uh, assist hit. Uh, it's very safe to just kind of spam if you know a mix-up is coming. And if they don't respect it, they'll just get punched. That is true. Honestly, um, I, I might go into the lab, and uh, this might be a, a good idea for anyone else who is watching and interested. If you're against a DP assist like that, you know, it's a common thing you see against a big band in a... I'll show you. <laughs> when you get that first opening, just snap in the assist. Ladies and Kill that character, then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the, the match. Well, right now, we have Roy Pro versus Musenheim here on deck. Musenheim starting off with their tried and true parasol. Yeah, this is this is looking like prime losing time right here. This is the team I know for. And if you want to talk about volatile point matchups, look no further than Parasol Valentine. You know, Parasol players would like to tell you this is like 45-55, and then it's the opposite for you know uh, for Valentine. It's, they have it's always foot, but it's always it unfavorable just... versus your character. That is that is what fighting game logic is. Your character but always is nerfed, always needs a buff, and every other character is broken. Right now, Roy <laughs> Skull's Peacock is getting uh, massive damage from Musenheim's Parasol here. Oh wow, Musenheim is not but it's fine. The Ball of Death is still flying around. Uh, Roy right. Skull not down to too good here. We have two bars. When the oh the tear, the hero tear to just blow up in Annie's face. Oh, the high low high. Oh god, this character's dive is scary. Oh, nice little short you can. The 
overhead. Quick low and death. Thanks, Lad. Yeah, Mo Musenheim no longer no longer wanting machine? to pull any more punches. Um, that is Musenheim up two and two. By the way, that timer on Matcharino stream elements they did not put in the correct one. This is the correct Matcharino. Please ignore that. I'm gonna delete this. Delete that. Uh, this is the correct match re I don't know why that came out there. Pretty sure I updated it earlier today before we started the stream. Here comes trouble! On guard! Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Match number five! We are now at the final match here on the loser semis between Royce Pro and Musenheim. It is for all the marbles. Up two and two right now. Oh yeah, Roy Royce, uh, uh, Lusenheim is absolutely calling up the fact that Royce roll not, not very quick on the, the, the overhead blocks there. That, uh, that's, uh, that's a slower uh, standing overhead. I know, very devilish that they gave a character two standing overheads, but, you know, it, that's what the character's all about. Lusenheim is angry down. and he is pissed! Holy shit! Oh, but oh, that's gonna, oh, that's gonna get snapped it out! That was a lovely uh, uh, free stream, by the way. The blur of the brass knuckles right into, uh, into the robo. Oh my god, I am so. Oh, this is a diamond big moment. Roy scrolled down to. Oh, and it was grabbed! That is kill! Musenheim is moving on to losers finals and essentially eliminating our former champion Roy Skrull was indeed the champion of Waifu Wars number four but now Roy Skrull is out GG's indeed that was an insane set reaching to five games thank you so much for an amazing game but Moose you stay here because we will be calling on your next opponent. Essentially, this is your loser's finals. This will dictate who will be fighting Ruby Chan in Grands. Let's call on our very good friend, Geese L. Uh, Geese is here and ready to rock. Musenheim versus Geese L. Geese is also a former uh, Waifu Wars champion, so we are in the presence of greatness right now. These matches are insane, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Losers Finals. We have Geese L versus Musenheim. All right, pretty excited. Pretty excited. We're down to the creme de la creme, as they say. Creme de la creme. Oh, I forgot to pay out the prediction. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Let's do a prediction for this one. Losers Finals. Who will win, ladies and gentlemen? Who will win in your Losers Finals? Geese. Or Musenheim. Get hot. <laughs> Everybody warmed up. Showtime. <laughs> go, go ahead. Paul is up, ladies and gentlemen. Musenheim versus Geese. Oh, cross out. Show your support. Prove to these people that you are indeed supporting them. Oh my god! How dare you match Super on my roll? This should be death here? Oh, wants to go for the reset. Maybe with the duo, may have not been death. Ah, uh, I did not get the... Go for PBGC Alpha Punch. That's, uh, quite bold. Gets the anti kill regardless, eventually. Oh, it doesn't get the conversion. Good DP right there. Can we get the pickup? Yes, we can. Alright, what's the mix here? Just go inside. Uh, not sure. Oh, the stagger! The stagger pressure has been calling out of the back pad. Oh, the overhead. Oh, very clean kill. Moose is now up 1-0. Oh. 
Ge Geese a little too afraid to either DP there or possibly get a super out. Showing a lot of respect. Maybe a bit too much respect, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Match number two between Musenheim versus Goose L. Uh, Moose starting off with Annie this time. Kind of had a bit of an exchange here. Oh, this might be the first character death here. And that is and it. it is. Kept it clean. Oh. Uh, it drops it, but immediately picks it back up. Very fortunate there. Uh, Musenheim is down on oh, Parasol, but oh, Musenheim's Parasol he... is oh, almost deadly. Almost gets the mid-screen uh, stairway to heaven there. If Moose can do a snap back here, bring that a uh, big bag out, this would be a big boon for them. Oh, the grab. Oh, what? Uh... Yeah, gets the tech out. Uh, that might have been some crazy mix-up. Uh opportunity right there but are we gonna get are we gonna snap yes, yes we are we are getting get a snap out. big uh chunk of red hp gone on big man here good grab there does it get the conversion it's fine oh the instant airhead overhead oh, that is that might be killing this is indeed kill musenheim up now versus cerebella back to 1v1 Call in the sniper simple. support. That will be kill and assassination. Musenheim is now up two and zero. Oh. Ooh, Musenheim is on match point for heading into grand finals. Honestly, I'm surprised they ended up choosing just the duo. But the duo coming out here, not having too much trouble against this, uh, against Geese's uh, bail on opening. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to see. I'm not quite sure what adjustment to make here, but yeah, he's, he's got to fish for that opening. It'll come. It'll come. I feel like maybe it's a bit of will, lack of arrive. patience, maybe arrive. a bit of nerves. Well, here we are now, and uh, match number three between Geese yeah. L and Musenheim. Let's see if there's any adjustments coming in from Geese's side here. Most for that North Knight to start out with. Very interesting. Oh, we're in. We have a lot of counter hits so far here, so that, that damage is definitely stacking. Oh, super's coming out big damage. Oh, that didn't punish. It's fine though, we got the hits. He's going for these very quick resets here, but uh, they're being sniffed out a little bit too easily. I might want to see a, a change yeah, the overall scope of it. Doesn't get the pickup though. Oh wow! Just too far to Oh, it protects the big man. Big man would have died there if he didn't go in. Oh, what are you? Oh, oh, he's still. Oh, the Bella is. Out. Bella's gotta hold the line. We gotta get that health back. Oh, up there, but could have just killed the character. Gets it anyways, though. It's looking much better for Geese right now. 
And that is a kill! He's L on the board right now, not uh, not giving up here, saying, you know what, I want to get to Grand Finals. I want to claim that belt yet again. We are now in match number four between Moose and Geese. Uh, both uh, Canadian animals. <laughs> uh, both found here in the Great White North. The battle between Moose and Geese commences. Everybody, mind your marks. Action. All right, Moose definitely not. You know, even though up two wins, does not want to risk it. Going with the base team. No more experimentation. If you want to beat Moose, this is the team you have to beat. You have to prove it. It, 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 it's almost it's almost like we're fighting Frieza here, right? You know, we have so many different stages, and now we're at the fourth stage. The this is the Slim form. Frieza form. Or for those uh, Dragon Ball Super fans, Golden Frieza. Oh, it just does block the grab. Oh, snap oh, well, out of give it. Give me that delicious health. Suddenly, Geese's team looking a little unhealthy right now. Oh, we have a double snap. Goodbye, big fan. Those were very. Oh, this is here. uh, this is dirty right now. Geese's big fan doing a lot of work here. This is, um, I, I, there is definitely, aw, oh, it's, it's a very hard, that's a very hard version of the snap combo, and he just basically gave Boost an extra bar to work with there. That being said though, up a character, I, 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 I think his sis ruined the, the axe kick there. Oh, and that is kill. Musenheim down to Squiggly here. Did you see like kick? Oh, the big ball of death coming out. And that is wow, kill. Musenheim answering back. Oh, take the throw in the air throw. All right, we have 38 skull seconds on the clock here. Not close enough to really force the game to a timeout, but something to start He's considering. Confirmed, However, this might kill. Woo! We are We're going to game number five, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! Well, you know, you, it's, it's as I mentioned, right? This is the final form. Uh, you know, uh, Free uh, Freeze has got to get his butt in gear if uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they want to make it to Grands right now, but. He's proving that they can handle the main team. I don't know if Musenheim may change it up yet again or just saying, okay, all right, it's fine. I just got to run my offense. No problem. That is true. That is true. Right now, we are in match point for both of these amazing, amazing players. Musenheim versus Geese L in the final match of your Losers Finals. Whoever gets the win here gets to fight our good friend Ruby Chan in Grand Finals. Before that, we'll have a quick short interlude. We'll ask them their opinions on what uh, Grand Finals is for them. Uh, and then we'll get on with the final match. But right now, let's focus on this one. Losers Finals, the very last match. Musenheim versus Geese L, ladies and gentlemen. These are amazing. We have a uh, legend of Zali saying, "Let's go, Moose!" Oh, Master Gisa Shiari. Okay, we we have oh blocks the blocks the mix up there very well played. Gets the cross up instantly gets another mix up right there. Quick overhead. Oh, just the bread and butter. Gets the pickup. I didn't even think he could convert that, but here we are. Oh, already used the OTG. A little surprised they added the bikes there. 
Oh, gets the grab! Get over here! It's Mortal Kombat time! Oh, we're gonna get that nice, delicious red health here. Oh! Overheads galore! Oh, that's not the pick up! That definitely could have been a squiggly kill right there, and then maybe we reset, but now it's 3 to 1. Oh, the he's L now just on Cerebella, clown activities detected. Oh, it doesn't pick up though. Oh, pulls out the... Pulls out the parasol. Wants to do a bit more zoning here. Oh, this is so hard for Bella here. Not even three bars, not even the ability to call the diamond. Ah, it's starting to look like it's over here. Oh, not it. yet, not yet. Fat lady, fat lady's not singing. She's not singing. She's a clown. We didn't know she was a clown. Oh, Beast L holding on to hope. Kill. And that is kill. Beast L does not want to give up. Out the assist. It, it's oh, no! Oh, and that is fight. Musenheim snuffing out any hope from Geese L. But amazing, amazing show, Geese L. Uh, Geese L is unfortunately not meeting a Moose, uh, sorry, Ruby Chan in Grand Finals. Instead, we have Musenheim in Grand Finals. Ah, but that was a beautiful, beautiful set, y'all. Uh, Moose and um, Moose and Ruby, hop on in our caster stage, please. I'm just gonna give Moose the uh, uh, the permissions. Moose and Ruby, caster's desk, please. Hello. Hey. Yo. Hello. Let's let's boost up their volume. We can barely hear them. Hello, Moose. Hello, Ruby Chan. Welcome to your grand final stage. How are you guys feeling? Yo, I'm I'm excited. I, I was excited. rooting for Moose, even all though right. he stressed me out the last section. <laughs> all right. All oh right. my god. <sighs> I'm a little bit tired. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh no. Um. <laughs> What do you guys expect coming out of each other from in this tournament? I think I think it'll be I think it'll be back and forth. I think it'll, if anything, it might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but Ruby, your performance this tournament is actually overwhelming. I haven't seen you this clean in all of the waifu wars that you participated. Have you been fucking grinding nonstop, dude? <laughs> I I definitely been on the grind. That's for sure. Oh I, shit. I, I, I know, I know uh, last time, I, I, I didn't get to participate last time, so I wanted to uh, at least put put some stuff up. I know there were some players that I was definitely uh, worried about, but mm. it looks like there's uh, no fears and just one step, uh, one step closer to uh, being the Bayo Ban. Bayo Ban, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Moose, how are you feeling, man? Is this your first Grand Finals stage here on the Waifu Wars? I know you're a constant top eighter, but is this your first Grand Finals? Uh, I think I've had a like one or two previously, but mm. I'm, I'm doing pretty all right. I feel like I've been out for quite a while, I know, but I'm back and just try to do my best, I guess. Awesome, awesome. Uh, currently, right now, I am whispering to you guys the uh, the Maturino, just so that uh, you guys are able to hop in immediately and early. Uh, Paul, do you have any questions uh, to our amazing, amazing uh, players here? I mean, not too many questions. Uh, kind of, kind of know these two for a bit now. You know, over the weeks. Uh, glad to see Moose back. You know, uh, not not grinding that Vlav grindstone, but back here. You know, you know, throwing the parasol at people, giving them the <laughs> giving them the tears so they can cry afterwards. You know, so I'm glad to see he's back. Uh, Ruby, uh, that uh, your hands really hurt. Those penguins uh, hurt my soul, but I'm really glad you penguined me three times. Yeah, I love it, it. absolutely. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I had to do it to you. No, 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 no. please don't. Never as stop. Well. Like, literally never stop. It's, this is the whole point of the game is to have a good time. And you know what? That's yeah, Bayo is about the spectacle. That's part of the characters. You know, it, I, I don't care if you want to go to like the delving of the, the RPS or fighting mechanics. Like, he's about the flavor. He's about giving the people what they want. That it's is true. <laughs> Listen, all so. I'm just saying is that the what the things that I did at the tournament, yo, for like against you, against Geese, yo. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I just had to. <laughs> no, fair yeah, enough. And, and, and where to throw it to you guys? Um. Are you planning on trying to go in through Qualls for the... I believe it's happening... Is it February? The the finals for the circuit? Mm. Oh, the last... The blockbusters? Oh. Yeah, the final one. Yeah, I know I'll try to participate on that one. I need to redeem myself after after the fall blockbuster. Um, yeah, I was, I was one step closer to Unleash trying to get... Uh, not too far off from getting into uh, getting out of pulls there. I would have I was one match off to fight Dry Trap and be ready to fight them into qualifying. At least at least I would I, I wanted to at least fight Dry Trap, but I got stopped unfortunately. So I need to keep keep on doing what I need to do and get there, man. Yeah, I'm I'm room for all of you guys. Like I you know I I've I've been a part of the community, but really loosely. But because of, I've been doing this a lot with limits, I've gotten more and more ingrained with you know get greats and the circuits and all that and kind of seeing all these names over and over again you know i'm, I'm rooting for all of you you're all fighting in the mud and yeah i'm kind of the, excited to see what's going on the skull ghost community is actually doing. one of the more beautiful sectors of the fgc and i'm all for it to be honest like this game has been through hell and back like all of you know the story uh, this game, any any lesser game would not have survived. <laughs> no. It would have been shot down dead in the head, bleeding on the floor. But it's Skull a miracle is a this fighter. one did, even with all of the, like all the things that it had to go through. Like. Yeah, that's true. No, I mean, actually, it was shot down, and then it just went back up like a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta give big big shout outs to the uh, Skullgirls mobile community on yes. that one. Without, oh, without, without that without them, we 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 probably wouldn't be at where we're at right now with actually having season pass, all the all like the circuits that is and true. everything. That yo. is true. Are okay. you guys, are you guys that are that are playing mobile, yo? Much love to you guys, man. Much love. They're supporting yes. they're supporting the uh the economy of um Skullgirls and uh, we can continue to play second encore. Uh much love to Future Club as well. Uh, the folks that picked up from uh, picked up Skullgirls <laughs> from the ashes. From Live um, Zero, rest yeah. in peace. Um, and uh, what's the developer name uh, that replaced uh, Lab Zero? It's Future Club uh, and another thing. It, it's Future Club uh, Autumn Future game. Club Hidden Variable. Hidden Variable. Hidden Variable. There you go. Hidden yeah. Variable. So much love to Hidden Variable and Future Club. But right now, first to five boys. Ruby Chan versus Musenheim in this amazing, amazing first to five here in the Grand Finals. Moose, you gotta be beat this man once and yet another one to get the belt. Ruby Chan, you just need to beat Moose one time in the first to five. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna kick you guys out from the call so that you're not bothered by our amazing voices. <laughs> um, but all the best, Moose, all the best. Uh, luck, Moose. Ruby Chan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with our grand finals here on Waifu Wars number 5. Uh, Ruby Chan versus uh, Musenheim. Uh, they should join the room, actually. <laughs> forgot to call them in, but they are now heading in. Moose is here. We're just waiting for our good friend Ruby to head on in. Yes, yes, Zolly. Grand finals is a first to five. It is the only match, it's the only set that is a different bracket than the rest of it all because we want to have absolute... Uh, uh, domination when it comes to who our grand finals winner is and of course we want to see that adaptation if it is indeed needed uh, or if they are able to present adaptation if in case they are losing but here we are now grand finals ruby chan versus musenheim thank you so much for hanging out here and again i cannot do this without my good friend paul paul thank you so much for uh showing up here you are a rock um You're to this right. community thank you sir Grand Finals on deck. I, I appreciate the kind words. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm absolutely in love with this game, in love with this call, everything. So. Alright, let's get the people what they want. Let's pass this absolute bonanza to the set we got in front of us here. Alright, we got Lucenheim here in the corner versus the Bale. Blocks the first, gets the DP. We're out of there. We can actually play the game here. 
Ooh, right back into it, though. Is this a character kill? Not quite. It gets dropped. Blocks the DP, but we punish that. Goes full screen, gets the hype. Oh, that 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 is just such a cheeky way of getting in, but it works. Get that red health. Ooh, snap! Oh, you have big band on this now. What's the incoming here? I think we're gonna go chair throw. Oh no, we're going overhead. Should definitely be death here. I can't believe I cast or cursed <laughs> Ruby shot of all people. Ooh. And penguin. Penguin, let's go. Game one goes to Ruby Chan in your grand finals. Don't do it to him. Like, do it to him, but don't do it to him. This man has a family. This man has a wife and child to go home to. Can't be out here getting hit with that penguin. Uh, much no, love, love to, to Paul. Uh, Paul, thank you for giving us $15 on top of the price pool. Uh, much love. Hey, I, I, I told you I'd add to the pool. Absolutely love this tournament. Oh, was that you? Is that you? Oh yeah, no, that's me. I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good, dude. You're good. Thanks for I, I adding to the prize need pool. To shout it out, even if it goes in silent through the night. I just wanted. I just wanted I, I, players. I didn't to notice know if the thing popped of money off in, their in the, uh, the alerts, and I just saw. Wait, hold on. Why is our prize pool like big? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, somebody added, I didn't notice. But much love to our good friend Paul. Thank you so much, buddy. Hey. Round like number I said, two. I, I love being here, I love the people who show up. I love you, Limit. The love all around. Love all around. You don't know how much that means to me, Paul. Oh, we're getting the overhead here. We're, we actually switched it up. We're going with the squiggly point. Kind of wants to really lean on that, uh, that stance dance thing. Right, right now, knockdown, this grabbed. Ruby Chan, the classic Ruby Chan pr uh, pressure that they are presenting in this tournament right now. Insane wackiness, insane damage. Where does Beowulf pull that arm from? Oh, and he got danced on. Musenheim is now down to their tried and trusted parasol, but the grab's coming out. Alright, we got a set up here. Are we gonna go hard knockdown? Yes, we are. Get the chair back. Ah, the classic. Ooh. Dive over to the right, call the assist. Musenheim is just down to big band here. Let's see if we can get some mileage off of it. Can we get the pickup? Oh no, a little bit too Oh, that lands at big boy damage. It's the overhead. Is this the end of game number two here? Can we finish our food? Oh, drinking! Oh, three the moon. moon! Moon! Oh, and that is kill. Ruby Chan is putting on a clinic here tonight in Waifu Wars number five. Ah, uh, the three, the the three uh, howl assaults. I, I don't exactly remember the name, but you know, I gotta get that shirt. There's a really nice Beowulf it's, it's shirt a, out there. That's pretty good. The, the the original meme of it is uh is something to behold. <laughs> Uh, coming in hot from chat, how considerate says a geese towards our good friend Paul here for the amazing and generous donation towards our prize pot. Uh, we are now up to $8. Keep in mind, first prize gets 50% of that, uh, second place gets 30 and last place gets 20%. So everybody gets quite a bit uh, of a slice well, of limit, I hope you got your calculator because I ain't doing that math for here. <laughs> no mats uh, evolve. Well, 28, half of that is $14, so True. do the rest. Already got that, so what's... 
Oof, black screen, what had happened? Did you crash? Just let us know, Moose. Oh, we have the bots out here on deck. Ooh. Get out, get out of here, bots. But here you go. Um, just a short delay. Our, our friend Moose and I will reset the game very quickly. Uh, welcome back, Moose. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for hanging out here in Waifu Wars number 5. I am joined by my good friend Paul here. Uh, we are now in grand finals between Ruby Chan and Musenheim. Ruby Chan up 2 and 0 oh right now to this race to first 5. Hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday. If you are living in the East Coast, our time went back 1 hour. So, extra sleeping time for all y'all. <laughs> including oh, I myself. Mean, I mean, same here on the West Coast. Yeah, it was funny uh, last night uh, doing a bit of, you know, a bit of that studying grind because nursing school has mm -hmm. a gun to my head at the moment. Nursing school uh, is you rough. Know, it, was, it was fun watching 1 a.m. go to 2 a.m. and then back to 1 a.m. last night. <laughs> you, you love to see it, getting getting that time recalled. But right now, we are in match number two between Ruby Chan and Moose. Moose is back on their tried and tested squiggly opener. Kind of tried to call out some sort of jump in there. Ooh, uh, doesn't get the assist call. Alright, what's the mix here? Oh, goes for the low. Immediately gets blocked. Gets the pickup. Doesn't get the conversion, though. Ooh, catches that right there. We're throwing the small girl into the corner. Never mind. Hard knockdown. Watch the crossover. Very well played there. Doesn't get the pick up with the assist call, though. Ooh, mashes out of the... Oh! Back to back? Is. You can do that? Moose taking yeah. down uh, Ruby Chan's uh, Beowulf. Character down here, though. Won't get the punch. Just get the gets the other punch. Right now, Moose is down to Squiggly. Ooh, opts to go full screen. Doesn't want to deal with it right now. Ooh, this is this is death here. And yeah, keeps it real. Keeps it. Oh, trumpets yeah, out. That is kill. Rest easy. Woo! Ruby Chan is dominating 3 0 right now. Two points away from the belt! And you will have a new general of the Waifu Wars. And yeah, funnily enough, with how strong Ruby is, this will. This is his first win in Waifu Wars, isn't it? If he ends up taking. I believe so, yeah. This yeah, because be... both times he got. Uh... I mean, gatekeep by the monster that is Zest Municipality, yes. if I recall correctly. Uh, Ruby Chan is a consistent top 8 uh, top 3 even, uh, every top time three, he, yeah. he plays oh, here in Waifu Wars, but never taking the belt. But this time, uh, Ruby Chan is gunning down for it, uh, yeah, trailblazing yeah, we'll onto the belt. Showtime. Yeah, hopefully we can get Zest back here sometime. Uh, get that faded rematch. Let's see if uh, uh, like one of the amazing things about running these tournament series, right, is just kind of watching and seeing how people grow. From that is true. Week to week and, and we also you know, have baby. an internal. Um, we have an internal Elo system basically in uh, uh, Challenge, so everybody can see everybody's relative uh, Elo, so to speak. So we do have a ranking, a leaderboard here. That is also responsible for seeding when we're having these tournaments. Double there. This is mad damage here. We need to pick up? We can! This is also an assist death. Yeah, because we're witnessing here firsthand, you know, Ruby definitely on this grindstone right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I looked away to check uh, the links in our Macherino and automatically Ruby Chan took game number four and is now at the cusp of victory. 
this is looking to be not only our fastest uh, tournament to date, but possibly our fastest uh, Waifu Wars Grand Finals. But let's see if Musenheim can answer back and stop the onslaught that is Ruby Chan right now. I mean, this is what it comes down to. You got four games in, the, the, in those really, really short memory banks. So let's see. Let's see what the uh, Okay, deciding? Maybe let's the solution is the way to go here. Let's rock. Oh, Musenheim with this solo squiggly. Let's see how this works out for them. Gets the overhead. Gets the overhead again. I think we need one more reset to kill. Optical for the full. Now we have good damage here. Gets the immediate punish. Gets the. I, I'm surprised that landed. Uh, 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 Beowulf was not on the ground at the beginning of that. That usually misses, but timed it very perfectly. Oh, get over here, landing! Big combos coming out from uh, Mushenheim. Nice little stencil oh. combos for you. Turn over Ruby Chen now on the offensive. Immediately puts up a big bandit block. Wins the air to air, gets the grab. Oh my, I am making diamonds right now. By the way, everybody, I have been uh, allowed by Twitch to have follower emotes. So enjoy those follower, follower emotes if you are following this channel. You don't even need to sub to get emotes in this channel now. <laughs> this is not quite death, not enough far to spend here. Oh, that did not land! And I think that was a death sentence! And this is it! Ladies right. and gentlemen! Sean is... Oh, go ahead, take it, take it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ruby Chan is the general of Waifu Wars number 5 and is your Grand Finals winner! Congratulations, Ruby Chan. Holy shit. Ruby and uh, Moose, join us real quick in the caster stage yet again. Holy shit. Paul, are, are you are you gonna ask me anything? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I, just I gave so it to you, man. I'm so terrified of saying anything to you at the end of it because I know it's coming. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Um, well, what do you what do you think? What do you think of the tournament I, so I, far? I think the uh, I think uh, I think the come, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Honestly, oh. it was a great tournament. It was an amazing. I think, I think we had some great games here. The Paul, uh, you know. Uh, Thank you so much, Moose. You know, Ruby coming down here, uh, you know, gave us a... I mean, it may have been kind of a bit, uh, you know, on the side of Ruby, but we, we saw some signs of life, Moose. Like, was, you know, tied it up insane. here and there. But I think you got it. B before we talk to the general, uh, <laughs> Moose, how are you feeling, sir? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 two words have never been said. Um, but amazing show, Moose. Uh, honestly, I think this is the, the the best showing you've had as well. Like everybody's just leveling up. Holy shit! Like that, your gameplay in this tournament in particular was immaculate. Um, amazing show, Moose. Thank you so much for showing us that amazing, amazing gameplay. Not a problem, man. <laughs> uh, any words you can you can trash talk Ruby because he won. You're allowed to. Any any words you want to tell Ruby Chan here? Ah, we're friends. We just had a good, friendly match. Got my ass whooped. I'm probably gonna get better. Like I see myself getting better, but <laughs> right now, I, b I believe, I believe. Uh, but yeah. uh, no, nah, man, not probably. You will get better, bro. 
<laughs> what gentlemanly words coming in from Moose? Uh, Ruby Chan, you're not allowed to trash talk anybody because you're the general. You have won the waifu wars. Uh, any words of encouragement towards those folks that played tonight, the audience, and of course your grand fans contender here with Moose and Heim? Uh, all I really gotta say is that, um, yo, good games to everyone that did play. Um, I know I probably caused some 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 villain arcs to happen right now. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, uh, uh, I, one of my one one of the people that I, honestly I would say I was uh, I was worried about during the tournament was definitely Geese. I know, especially for a Bayo Bayo matchup, it's it's gonna be all momentum based, but. Uh, glad to, glad to see see the see the improvements here and there, and hopefully, um, and I, I get to play him more later later down the line as well. Just uh, in bracket, outside of bracket, uh, Moose uh, always always a pleasure playing you, even off uh, off uh, off tournament as well. So uh, absolutely, just like man. You said, just Beautiful. Like you said, good 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 pals and all, and hopefully we all. Hopefully, uh, we uh, we get to just uh, play some more games. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Paul, do you have any parting words towards our Grand Finals competitors? I mean, like I said, you know, I appreciate you boys making the time coming down here, uh, giving. Uh, without you, we can't have a tournament, right? So that is true. You know, yeah, it's, shout, it's, out, shout out to you, man. <laughs> um, so. anything else, Paul? Uh, God, uh, any other parting words? Uh. Gosh, no, I mean, I don't want to keep you, gents. Uh, it was a good, clean, clean set. I enjoyed beautiful. it. I'm always a fan of watching me some Skullgirls. Uh, yes, that was beautiful, guys. Um, thanks for hosting Attorneys, says Geese. Thank you for participating. Uh, love the Pokemon paintings. Are they posters? No, they are actual paintings. Uh, but gentlemen, thank you so much for once again joining us here in Waifu Wars number 5. Your current general is Ruby Chan. Ruby Chan now has a target on his back. Uh, people will be gunning him down in the next Waifu Wars. Hopefully, Ruby Chan will be here to defend their title. And uh, once again, thank you so much for participating here. Uh, Moose and Ruby, uh, I whispered you guys the uh, match arena. Hopefully, you guys join uh, ASAP so that I can pay you out as well so that uh, we don't have any more loose ends so that uh, you guys get your uh, amazing earnings. And once again, thank you, Paul, for adding in $15 to the official price pot. We are now splitting it uh, $28, 50% to Ruby. 32 moose and 22 geese much much love paul thank you so much and again thank you coming from me to you guys um for participating playing and joining us here on waifu wars next week we have the dust series yet again our uh, venerable guilty gear strive series the dust and the dust counter and then after that i believe the next event will be the anniversary of this channel so i'm still thinking of what we're gonna do then but hopefully you guys are able to come slam here on the slam um, but that is it from me gentlemen once again thank you i hope you guys have a lovely week coming ahead tomorrow is monday everybody hates mondays but it is what it is uh we work hard on the weeks so that we can have fun on the weekends ladies and gentlemen that is it from me uh have a wonderful day and a wonderful life goodbye 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 thank you now